Good evening, I'm Blake Hanson. Denton police are investigating the department's first officer involved shooting of the year. Police say an officer shot and killed a man who was holding a woman hostage. It happened around 1.30 this morning at an apartment complex on the city's east side. Police say the hostage taker began to raise a knife toward the woman's neck and was becoming aggressive. That is when an officer fired around and hit the suspect. Fox 4's David Satendry joins us with the latest on that investigation. David. Well, Blake, Denton Police and the Medical Examiner's Office have not yet confirmed the name of the man who was shot and killed by an officer. But today, the Chief of Police says this was a situation where an officer had to take a life in order to save a life. A Denton police officer shot and killed a man in his late 20s who was reportedly holding a woman hostage with a knife against her body outside the Vibe apartment homes overnight. My boyfriend woke me up last night. Jante Harris says the woman is one of her neighbors. She regularly sees her with the man who police shot. Police say he's the one who called 911, claiming to be suicidal due to problems with the woman. And then when they came, he had her outside, like with his arm wrapped around her neck, like he was choking her. There were words being exchanged back and forth between the Hotchess taker and our police officers. Chief Frank Dixon says the man with one arm around the woman's neck raised the knife with his other arm in a stabbing motion toward the woman several times. So at one point, as the knife was being raised, we had one officer fire one round from his patrol rifle, striking the subject in his upper torso. A different officer then used a taser to get the knife out of the man's hand. According to Chief Dixon, the man was pronounced dead at a local hospital. And it's nothing that a police officer wants to do. No police officer wants to come to work and have to take a human life. But unfortunately, sometimes you have to take a life in order to save a life, which is what happened in this instance. Police have not said specifically what the relationship between the hostage and the hostage taker was, or what led to the disturbance. Terrifying. Neighbors say the woman who police saved is also grieving. And we see her, she has, I think, two or three small children, but I see her on a daily. The Texas Rangers are investigating this officer-involved shooting, which is standard procedure. The officer who's at the center of this has been with the department for about three years. Now, Denton police are also going to be having an internal investigation to see if he may or may not have violated any sort of police uh, any sort of police procedures over there on the scene. And Blake also want to point out that we did request body camera footage of that incident. Have not heard back formally, but those things usually take several days. We'll keep you updated if we are able to view some of that body camera footage.